Against <laughs> I just noticed we didn't get the handshake on that too. Which, like, honestly, to be fair, if you pop off on me, it's like, no, go see your boys. No, yeah, like, you got it. You got up. I'll give it up. It's all, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but we are going to the other side of winners' semis. It's going to be Isaiah over there on the left. Going up against Dro on the right. Isaiah with the Pac-Man, as we mentioned earlier. Fantastic run through winners so far. Going to game five. Taking the dub from doorstop. And Dro going to game four and taking the dub from a Wolfie in their last Ice set. Knight as well, uh, right oh, before right. that. Yeah, right. So like <laughs> two of the two of the big names yes. uh, in the yeah. bracket uh, taken out on the way to get here. So Dro uh, going to be showing off some Yoshi, like you were mentioning earlier on the other side. Yeah, Isaiah with the Pac-Man uh, representing one of our fellow commentators. Big M, right? yeah. Big, <laughs> big M, big M Isaiah. Corporate. <laughs> <laughs> big M Incorporated. <laughs> But Shout out to Big M. Shout out yeah. to all the other fine casters that oh, we've had yeah. here over the weekend, not only on the Ultimate side, but on the Melee side as yes, well. Yes. You know, it's always a treat to get to hear Brandon on yeah. the airwaves, yeah. always a treat to get to hear Stude's yeah, dulcet tones. Yeah. Oh, I, w I was going to say, dulcet tones is exactly how I would describe <laughs> Stude. Like, if Stude ever felt like doing, you know, audio books and just books, nighttime yeah. stories, like, I would, I'd buy a couple. I easily. I'd go right to sleep. I don't Jorge, need uh, Jorge as well was here. Oh yes, who's, uh, yeah, yeah. we all we all love Jorge. I saw B Bats uh, commentated yeah, yeah, some as well. Here, yeah, yeah. Yep. big B Bats fan. Yes, big B Bats enjoyer as well. Had to head out a little early, but you know it's been a long weekend. Even though it's been a short weekend, it's a been a short weekend, but for some it's been a long yes, weekend. Yeah, yeah, it's a, just a lot of excitement, so jam packed. It's it's kind of a lot to take in. So we still got some dedicated fans. Given it, they're all here mm -hmm. in the audience, and they even did they plan this? Do you think is this like a were they in like the group chat? Like, hey, all right, so here are I, the steps. Like, I think it's a little spur of the moment. Okay, you yeah. know, well, I think that they're just they're on top of it, enjoying yes the camera life. Yeah. Oh, true, yeah. I just noticed, by the way, that those yeah. uh, those lights on the side are the uh, the, yeah, the port, port colors. colors. Yeah. yeah, I never even I never even noticed until I was like, wait a second, why would it be those four colors? Yeah, yeah, and uh, if you you know. Didn't hear before, I don't know how you missed it, but the, you know, organ in the back was just blaring the Melee Victory mm -hmm. themes, which is such a wonderful little treat. But it, the good. organ is cool. Oh, I love oh, that you can so just nice. see it in the background of the yeah, shot, yeah. just looming. It's a wonderful venue here, and even like the Ultimate Side Room, too, is just such a good time. Great vibes all weekend. And the rest of like the venue and like, nearby neighborhoods as well were just a treat as yeah. well. So. I mean, it, can I just say, I know I brought yeah. it up when I was commentating earlier this week, but like it, it feels like I'm going to like a, a Doc era like a GR, like yeah, I'm in a yeah. GR Smash video <laughs> right, right now. Right, right, yeah. You know, going to the, the tournament in the college ballroom yep. or in the yeah. college auditorium, but like we've got that but then you just up the level of like the modern production, exactly, right? Exactly. You know, you've got uh, Juno and Flashburn and all the rest on, on the back run in this stream. Big shout outs to them, yes, by yeah, the way, yeah. doing a great job this weekend. And of course, if you were watching the House of 3000 stream, <laughs> guess who was running it? It was House of 3000. <laughs> hey, it was yeah, Devin yeah. and the like, you know, uh, holding it down. Production was great all weekend, has been, and has thus far been continuing to be so. Oh, definitely. And speaking of which, we got a little bit of audio while I get settled out on the mainstream as well. We had some players opting for their own headphones, some for the stage headphones. So just want to make sure everybody has all Back the game and forth, audio right? they need. Because, I mean, this is a pretty interesting matchup in terms of audio as well. There's some audio cues for Pac-Man that could be pretty intricate. True, true. And important. So I'm gonna understand. I'm gonna drop a hazmat here. What's up, Twitch chat? What's Whoa. going on? What's going on, chat? Mango's Twitch chat? What's up, I'm on I'm on Mango stream talking That's to the true. chat. This feels true. like I should. I <laughs> this is not my job. I, need I feel a beer, like. <laughs> actually. What the heck? Shout out to chat tonight. What's going on, y'all? Yeah, it's a it's a good night. Yeah, I'm it is a, great a good time. night. The vibes are immaculate. Yeah, truly, that I mean, this feels like a a vibes first tournament. You know, I feel like uh, not that it lacks in any other department, but I feel like the vibes are. Paramount for sure, but here it is Isaiah with the Pac-Man as we mentioned and Dro with the Yoshi as well winner semis here at full bloom Game one on Pokemon Stadium to no one's surprise but mm -hmm. yeah, I love that they have the Big M sponsor on yes. for Isaiah yeah. too. <laughs> Big M Incorporated, right? right? right. <laughs> I might have to give me a deal. Hold on. <laughs> big M keeps saying he's a big fan. Fly me Fly out. Me out. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so this is kind of what I expect to do. A little bit of scrapping to start, but Yoshi has some pretty interesting tools to slow it down, obviously, as does Pac-Man. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be basically like player to player and interaction to interaction on kind of how they want to approach. Right there, Dro had a really good idea to try and approach with the Hydrant, but phenomenal response from Isaiah to kind of throw that Hydrant out of its stun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, out of disadvantage for both of these characters is really, really strong. I mean, right. for, for Pac-Man, I mean, you were talking about the, the chipping away and the hit and run kind of play style. We're going to see a lot of that at early percents for uh, kind of both of these characters, you know, Yoshi, because he's not going to get those ample opportunities to get those huge damage combos. You'll probably right. see him a couple of times over the course of this set, but for Isaiah, right, like a lot of those Pac-Man combos, they're sort of like traps. They might be true combos, but against Yoshi, maybe not as much because you're normally thinking about, oh, like they don't have time to mash out an aerial and there's a couple frame gap here or whatever, but that's Ooh. not enough to do anything. Just like that, Isaiah flying in because that double jump armor already gone. I know that back there is going to come through, so it's not going to save you like it usually does at these early percents. Yeah, really good presence of mind as well. And kind of punish that tool grab as well. You know, when you have the item in hand, don't really have so many options to work with. You know, really good stuff from Isaiah to find that very tiny lead and try and work with it Ooh. here. Big bonus fruit charge, just kind of playing some hit and run. Pac-Man forward air, a really good way to get that done. I, I got to say, some really good movement from Isaiah as well. Making sure to stay fluid. Does get called out right there. That drift away, a little bit predictable. And Dro, with the power of the crowd, who certainly seemed to be behind him, is able to take that first stock. But yeah, I think, I think one thing to, to get back to what I was saying. I think to, to keep an eye on the way that Isaiah is moving, especially uh, pulling out those bonus fruits. We saw it on that last stock while he was still holding on to the first one. Right. That just mixing up whether he's going to be landing on that platform and then does, but immediately is able to bounce right back off, start charging that neutral B again, but still facing you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's kind of like whenever you can get just a little amount of time for bonus fruit, <laughs> very important stuff. He's, he's showing me deals right now. I'm watching <laughs> like Big Bill Hells or something. Just like, Apple, Apple, would you like a melon? <laughs> it's like I'm watching Spaceship. I'm watching QBC on two times. Yeah. It's like <laughs> Wait, I, didn't, I didn't get the deal on the last one. If you were to right now for <laughs> five payments of nineteen ninety nine. Get right. this bell. <laughs> the bell is pretty dangerous too. Probably not something Dro ordered or wants to order, but the grab also really good when Yoshi does get stuck in shield like that. So fairly even so far. Dro has a lot of percent, but I feel like Yoshi has a little bit more of uh, an explosive kill power, if you will. Mm -hmm. so it it could feel even. definitely come out of nowhere, but Meanwhile, Pac-Man's so oh. reliable. You've got that bell. Now, Isaiah had already committed to setting up the trap, so the bell does not toll for the throw still able to hang on. But 114%, I mean, Pac-Man's going to get that bell charged up eventually, and you're going to have to deal with it again. But tossing it out too early didn't get that full charge. So instead, he just threw a spaceship for no reason. All right. We just saw a Yoshi grab. Definitely. Uh, one of the you know less likely moves you're going to see from the Yoshi in that spot, but really mm -hmm. good to kind of just throw Pac-Man away, try and punish this landing, but Isaiah taking the scenic route all the way back, does get the bell one more time. The platform mm. actually catches it. Ooh, I, honestly, in those situations, I'd like to see Dro challenge Ooh. that area that the bell's in. Now, does challenge the Pac-Man off stage, so that's also working out very well, but yeah, you know, on those platforms, especially when the bell gets tossed up there, you saw that whole sequence, you know, Dro was just sitting in shield, and you see a lot of people, especially against, you know, players like T, players like Rocky, get a lot of mileage out of challenging them when they go to pick up that fruit, throw right. out an aerial before they can get over there. Yeah, definitely, it's similar in some ways to Diddy Banana. We can see the orange. Ooh. Oh get beat out by Dro, looking for something big off the stage there with maybe the forward air. Ooh, okay, they're boxing right now. Dro playing pretty mm -hmm. elusive though. At 183, like you could just take these small hits when you find them and not really ask for much more, you know? Aggressive Ooh. off stage, but tossing out that egg early, knowing that Isaiah's gonna just immediately at the end of that ledge of invincibility, try to get back on stage. Apple, finally enough to take it, but yeah, what? <laughs> A go go gadget giraffe neck. What the heck? <laughs> what? <laughs> Both players absolutely befuddled by what just happened, but Dro That's definitely pretty happy about when the did result. What they put Dalsim in this yeah. game, bro? Like <laughs> Yoshi hitting the yoga. <laughs> like yoga hit. It's one of those things like uh, those frames in between animation, you know? Where yeah, like the, it, the the smear frames, yes, right? Exactly. Yeah. You're not supposed to see some of them, but because of the freeze frame of Ultimate, you're like. You're, you're greeted with some interesting ones. Some, some interesting, and getting like pushed away by the Hydra right. at the same time. That's that's one of the goop, that's a kill screen you're going to be seeing for a long time. <laughs> well, Dro riding that 
wave of goofy momentum into game number two. And uh, we're right back in Pokemon Stadium, too. So, uh, you know, business as usual. Yeah, yeah. Already pretty dead, even in Ooh, terms of percent. Okay. That Galaxian ship into the Diet Snake down air. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't, like, normally it's like, you know, okay, we don't need to get too crazy over a Pac-Man comboing off of the, yeah. the Galaxian, that's what it's there for, but into the downer, I haven't seen that too much. Okay, gotta make it back, still keeping it even, but Drow has been finding a lot of work with the Nair out of shield. Hold on the bell, into the up wow. smash. Wow. Oh. It's enough to do, I mean, hey, you know, when you hear somebody knocking at the door, ding dong, right. who's there? <laughs> it's a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> So far, though, not really able to find too much percent. Dro is going to try to make something happen here, but you have to get off the ledge first. And the bell interacting with the double jump armor in a way that I'm sure Isaiah is not thrilled with. <laughs> and in a way that I'm sure Dro is not surprised by. Yes, yes. It's like, that's just as I drew it up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like that idea. I tried to air dodge through the bell to catch it, but unfortunately, because it was not thrown out of the hand, it was thrown out of the neutral Ooh. B. You can't just quite grab it like that, but Dro reaching out into the ether and grabbing that stock out of nowhere. Yeah, it was a pretty big reach, but definitely found the mark. Fighting back right now, looking for one of those Yoshi combo starters, but the grab a really good way, kind of do a fade back grab. Oh. Wonderful punish, and it led to another Bing. wonderful follow up the bell into the forward smash. I think it's so, so strong. Which one's, the, which one's the red ghost again? I know orange is Clyde and pink is Pinky. All right, so it's either Inky. And blue is Inky. Oh, so then it's Blinky. So it's Blinky, yeah, okay. Yeah. I couldn't remember the name. Together we're unstoppable. You know, 75% <laughs> of everything. I got you on the rest. That was me taking tests in high school. Right. <laughs> it's just like, hey, bro, what's the name of the Pac-Man ghost? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I don't know why it's on the history test. I just keep answering B. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm okay. passing the class. Oh, hold, hold on. Dro right now is putting on a lesson, though. Hold on. The egg. Okay. The egg Higher throw. education. Yeah, you if know? you will. If you will. Indiana University. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Catching a landing with the up smash is a wonderful way to get back to one stock apiece here, but it's going to be hard. It's 86% when most of the damage that Dro has been able to find is kind of out of shield, straight hits, one or two things. 86 is a tall order, but this is a good way to get started. As I say, mm. only straight hits. We got a little combo started. Yes, sir, indeed. And a little juggle as Ooh. well, extending the up smash on the hydrant. The crowd's uh owing, and for good reason, because this could easily become Dro's game. Uh, going a little too crazy, perhaps. Right, <laughs> it's, right. It's a relax. It's just Ooh. an edge guard. Okay. <laughs> Love that idea. Just a little missed time. A little too slow to really catch that tech option with the up smash. Now we're back to neutral here. Some more bonus fruit to worry about too. Isaiah previously didn't have a lot of time, but <gasps> what's going on? Yeah, Drow immediately trying to jettison that bell into a combo, but Isaiah obviously being very familiar with how the move Yay. works. Great recognition that that air dodge did not have enough iframes to outlast the bell. And Isaiah sent us to a tied up game number three and says, yeah, let's go back to Pokemon Stadium too. Yeah, Blinky said, go to sleep. <laughs> Next game, <laughs> Isaiah. <laughs> Isaiah also with the biggest water bottle I've seen. <laughs> Since so, main stage 2022, yes, right. right? So stay okay, hydrated. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just we'll, a big M, in the, there, big M in the corner right there with the Mario hat. As I you say can that, no longer see him. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> but <laughs> fantastic back and forth that we have here so far. <laughs> shout out to the crowd. It's always, always, always got to be one guy in every <laughs> shot. <laughs> We are going to game three on Pokemon Stadium here. Winners, semis. It's been just such an interesting back and forth so far, as I've said, because we see some of these strings, and then the other player has just been wrestling back one hit at a time. Some pretty ambitious hits, nonetheless. But. Mm -hmm. okay. See, just charging up that fruit. I would imagine not trying to get to the bell just yet. Or does, you know, you can at least get some combos started off of that, or if you just kind of play without the bonus fruit for a little while. Then yeah, build up that percent. Once you get the Yoshi to like 90, if you get that bell anywhere near the ledge, then yeah, like he's gonna be gone. Right, oh, I think we're already putting that together too. The up smash, not exactly as powerful as the forward smash, but it was a pretty odd angle to work with. So really good stuff, good DI too from Joe to stay alive Ooh. there. Another good Catching on the rebounds? Right. The <laughs> That's the, the, the NBA street, the, yeah, the oop yeah. to self. Right, right. <laughs> Off the backboard, but it's the Yoshi A. That, that's yeah. a game breaker right, right there, right? right. Yeah. <laughs> Minus <Wow>. one. <laughs> Tro going for a lot of Woo. these offstage things, but it turns out all the action is on stage. Finally gets that tech reaction with the up smash. 
Takes the first stock too, and that's a good change of pace. Normally, I feel like Dro's been kind of playing from a little bit of a deficit, so we'll see what mm. we can do with that lead now. Ooh. See the adaptations coming through too. Let me duck that blinky real quick. Right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about Arthur. <laughs> 148% though, and making some good adaptations, right? Like picking some good spots to try to open them up. Once again, off the heezy, and then the double triple, not enough to take it, but then kick him right back up with the Pele, with that up air. We're right back to a dead even game. <laughs> I love that Goodbye. it makes the noise even <laughs> while it's parked, but. That's it. That one feels much more prescient, right? right that it just right. falls off and just goes, oh, <laughs> it's just a sad trombone or I've, something. I've hurt the fruits feelings. <laughs> I, dude, honestly, I didn't know what the Galaxium was when I saw Pac-Man in Smash 4 for the right. first time. I thought it was like a cornucopia. <laughs> I thought like, it was like we're like on some loom. Thanksgiving. <laughs> like, <Yeah>. Fruit <laughs> of the Loom. <laughs> oh, the bell one more time. No, the oh follow-up. Hold on, Isaiah. I'm just taking the free damage. That's right, all right, I right. want. <laughs> like, I was so worried. Okay, the air dodge gets called out, too, from the neutral air. I love that. That was such a good follow-up, too. The, okay, the bell's still in hand, though. That, that was such a good jump. Dro is picking all the right <laughs> options right now. The defense is phenomenal. And then they go right into the wave pool at the yeah. resort, right? right, right. <laughs> they just, they both go, whoa. <laughs> the Wii Sports, like, whoa. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Toss the bowling ball backwards into the crowd. I love Ooh. that. The water actually helped with that grab as well. We're going to see the trampoline here. Kind of get through that Yoshi down air. Mm -hmm. Even if you get that semi spike, ah, just right back to it. And then that nice active Pac Man grab, it went from zero to hero real quick. And with that bell in hand, nice traps all the way through. Knew that Dro wasn't going to try to drift all the way through it past that platform. Too big of a threat, so you're going to land right in front of me. Let me get that grab. But Dro saying the same thing 157. Okay, back and has the wow. apple in hand. One thing Not I, hungry. I have to shout out too is Isaiah is charging the bonus through pretty much in Dro's face. No fear, like really good knowledge on what the burst range is for Yoshi. As mm -hmm. I say that, one small misstep, but good stuff from Dro to find that little opening. Looking Dro with the crowd behind him, starting to take that momentum up. Apple in hand once again. No combos still. I mean, the apple's tough to throw into a combo too, because it's at the weird angle. Right. It's almost down. Better to Z drop it. Yeah. You know, just it has a lot of knockback though. There's another apple. See, now we have the apple in hand. Good pressure from the Hydrant. Not finding them hit with the apple, though. And Dro looking for something a little crazy, I'd say. Big hits, maybe some combo starters with the tilts. Ooh, that Ooh. was slick. And Dro with a lot of momentum right now. And part of it is that Isaiah just can't find the finisher. Not right. going to the bell, right? Just going immediately into the apple, because straight hit from it can work. But Dro has not been getting mixed up by the apple. Oh. The melon, on the other wow. hand. Kind of crazy, though. Yeah, that's a strong kind of I've seen one. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful review right there. Gets that stock down to the wire here. One stock apiece, but a lot of damage you're going to have to rack up. As I say that, though, 53 and counting. Okay. Oh, wow. Ooh, tried to go for the single hit back air into the smash attack, which is huge combo startle for Yoshi. Very nice. reliable. Once again, the double jump armor to get through the bell and grab it says, nope, we don't need to play with this in the game at all. I just want to get that one last solid hit to close this one out. But if Isaiah has anything to say about it, it's knock that Yoshi away, get that bell back in hand. But so too it goes for Dro. Yeah, 92% though, all of a sudden appeared on Dro. Isaiah was able to find that damage that the fans were asking for. Now we'll get that grab there, scrapping back on center stage here. There's that bonus fruit. Like I said, Isaiah's been so good about finding the time to charge it despite the aggression from Dro, but those hold shield neutral airs at the ledge have been just working Ooh. wonders. Oh no. Up there's not enough to do it, so Isaiah, I mean, again, just barely hanging on, but again, I can't stress it enough. Just one hit from this bell, if that Yoshi's on the ground can do it, but Dro's defense around it has gotten really good. Right. Oh, and the grabs oh. have not been hitting, but they haven't been at a space where you can really punish them. I love that run up, punishes the jump with the up air, looking great, and the fans are active. Ha, ha, ha. Dro, they're saying Dro. Oh, they're saying Dro. Dro. Okay. If they got all that energy, you can help the TOs list some CRTs. Right, like, <laughs> they could use some help. Go grab a cart. <laughs> Oh, Please wait, quit I? out of your friend list. Yeah. <laughs> they are following the cameras, making sure that Dro knows the energy is being supplied. 
Is that like Bo knows we're doing the Bo Jackson yeah, bit yeah. now? <laughs> Dro knows how Whoa. to use up here. <laughs> well, after that last talk, I, I believe you. <laughs> oh. He literally used it as like a forward air. Right, right. It was so smart too. Just run up, pressure the shield with you know presence, and then just bait out a jump essentially and punish it. Really good stuff. Already back to scrapping though here. Pokemon Stadium, just about 30 apiece. Hydrant kind of bisecting the stage right now. Slowing it down just a little bit, but oh, like I said, I'm gonna keep saying it because it keeps happening. Hold shield, neutral air out of shield, has been beating up Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Now, I, I'm a bit embarrassed to admit this because yeah. I'm only just realizing this now, but a hydrant, like hydrate, it's a, it's, it is it is an item uh -huh. that is used to, it, it, a hydratant, a hydrant. They're, yeah. they're, they're related, right? Yeah, Hydro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hi, I can't believe I never realized that. No, well, you know. Childhood we're, ruined. We're all learning something at Full Bloom. <laughs> <laughs> These right. players are learning much more important things, <laughs> right. which is how to play the Pac-Man Yoshi matchup. Yeah, uh, well. Dro's think, been doing a very good yes. job of that. All right, we got the bell, too. Perfect timing. Wow, Z grabs it. Put some pressure on that platform, but good stuff from Isaiah getting that jump out. Ooh. I love that. I can't believe that Dro actually lived that. Just goes right. all the way up to the top <laughs> last zone as well. Ooh, really good. Forward chill as well to kind of stuff the approach from Dro. Big damage with the Hydrant and already tacking some more on with these Pac-Man forward airs. Ooh. Ooh, 40? Okay, and more. Hold on. You got to get a little throw in the up air as well. Keeping the pressure up too. Really tracing Yoshi, which is pretty phenomenal given the... Okay, well, that also was pretty phenomenal. Yeah, that, that like I was talking about, the single hit or the double hit back here, as long as it's a drag down, you can easily combo that into a smash attack. Sometimes up smash, if you can hit that turnaround, face the right direction, usually you're going to see the F smash. <laughs> and from Isaiah, we're going to be seeing some more of those custom combos, using those fruits to his heart's content. Yeah, I think both players weren't really ready for the bell hit, so it's some good improvisation, taking some good damage, landing those two aerials, even if you can't get that smash attack. Orange, really good tool to kind of cut off that horizontal approach. And the apple was a good idea, but really good timing on that shield from Dro too. The apple can be so good at just starting a juggle out of nowhere, right? Normally I you have to look for a grab or you have to find like a specific tilt, but the apple comes out, I mean, what's the item throw? Like frame six, frame right, seven right. for Pac-Man? So, you know, in layman's terms, that's really fast and all of a sudden <laughs> you're in the air and that's exactly what Isaiah has been looking for. And it has KO power when you've taken this much damage. Isaiah Ooh. hunted for that game five. Yeah, probably caught the approach as well, holding forward a little bit too much. Big damage from the Galaxian ship, 53 and counting. Plenty of time to charge that bonus through. And keeping up with the Nair too. And just keeping the pressure on, like with right. the aggro Pac-Man, Isaiah is really happy to get up in his face. I was afraid that Dro didn't have a double jump because I was like, that's not enough for Yoshi right. to get back. Right. I like that, grabbing the bell with that signature near out of shield. The shield getting a little hurt there. Might have to watch out about that. Mm -hmm. Can't get poked as Yoshi, obviously, right. but yeah, if that health does dwindle, Pac-Man can just throw out like a Randy smash attack. It can do a lot of shield damage kind of out of nowhere, Ooh, but you're top. getting taken off the top. Nice call out there by Dro. This could, this set could end in this game. It could possibly. The bell though is going to be hard to deal with unless Isaiah goes for it right there. Down here is going to give plenty of time for the bonus fruit charge as well, as we mentioned earlier. Does pick it up, but with a trade, which is actually a lot better for Isaiah. Hold on, though. Uh -oh. Ooh. Even the crowd is saying uh-oh as well. That is dangerous, dangerous stuff you're playing with. Oh. But <laughs> Linky came through one more time, sends that hydrant right over to Dro and sends us to a game five. That was like the, that was the Hajime no Ippo like extending fist right. <laughs> move, yeah, right? Yeah. Where it was just like the, I threw the punch, oh, you missed, and then just the face gets blown back. <laughs> Where did the hydrant come from, man? Go to game number five. Both of these winners sets yeah. have gone to game at number five, and that's what we love to see. We oh. like to see that it's competitive. I was gonna say well, they they kept winning. There's some good players. They've made it this far so far without losing at all. It's definitely going to be some tense competition. We're seeing exactly why right now. Very interesting dynamic shifts as the match goes on. I think both players are learning a lot how their characters interact with each other and seeing how it changes all of the timings of these opening sequences is so very interesting as well. Yeah, it's like, okay, you've played that card. I understand what it looks like now, so 
here's me playing a card to get around that, right? I now understand what this looks like. And I mean, we're even seeing it get to the point where Dro is using Isaiah's fruits against him to start his own combos. And that's like dangerous territory to get into against Pac-Man, but Dro confident and has been making it work. Down air, not gonna take you off the top quite that low in the stage, but with an edge guard opportunity, which Dro has picked up a couple of already, could be wow. over, did correctly read the roll, but was like about a full second into the future. <laughs> right, right. Ooh, okay, but that's still a lovely future to live in for the Dro fans. Finding that pickup, the aerial into another aerial to take that first stock. And now we see Isaiah, who's gonna try and force the issue, but generally in this position, Isaiah has been finding it pretty difficult to find those stocks. Dro is really good at playing defensive with the lead. So we'll see what can happen right now. I think especially Dro has gotten really good at like throwing out the shield. Ooh. I love the idea of the jab into the upper. That looked like a Zangi frame kill or yeah. something. <laughs> Just like the, okay, uh, and they get the combo started with the juggle, but Whoa. damage building up. Dro using the shield so well, like choosing specific moments to throw up shield. It's not just a panic option. It's you're going to attack here. I know that you're going to throw this bell because normally, you know, that could just shield poke somebody who can be shield poked, but right. Yoshi cannot, right? <laughs> Okay, Blinky going a little high right there. We got the bell one more time, but misses the mark. Trying to find a big hit right now. Dro at 131, no jump here, but makes it back down, near out of shield, and threatening that platform with the up tilt. You do not want to get caught with that. It leads to so much damage right now, and that's exactly what Isaiah cannot deal with right now. What's the follow up here? No, gets the angle wrong. Yeah, Isaiah oh. had already committed to re-grabbing the bell, but committing to re-grabbing the bell does work out because it opens up that next combo, but man, damage on damage. Those hitboxes stay out. Dro, man, I mean, almost getting in trouble off stage there. The downer kind of busting through that Yoshi armor, but both players do make it back onto stage. Isaiah got some tough work ahead to catch back up to a Yoshi with a big percent lead and now a stock lead. It's getting real close. We've seen Dro really tailor that gameplay well, and it's taken him to final stock, potentially to move on to winner's finals. Yeah, there's definitely some new technology we're seeing already. Some comfortability that we didn't see in some of those earlier games, but I'm liking the usage of down air too from Isaiah. We have the bell as well. Very dangerous spot to be in. It looks mm -hmm. like Dro does pick it up one more time though. I think that Isaiah needs to be a lot more choosy about throwing out that bell because again against most characters What can they do? Uh, you know to do anything about that But because Dro can't get shield poked and immediately just throw out that quick nair to grab that bell when it's done Isaiah's trying to get in there to re-grab it, but there's a hitbox waiting for it. We've seen right. a lot of counter hits in that situation Yeah, a lot of neutral air too right there. Yeah, another that exact situation. We've seen it like a couple dozen times now Yeah, but there's a little bit of payback Pac-Man neutral air as well Try and interrupt the interruption of charging the bonus route. The bell, not gonna find any hit. Unfortunately, the egg toss a little bit better from range. Back throw here though, mm -hmm. good opportunity. Set up that ledge Ooh. trap, get the fruit set up. A little bit of a fire nice. hydrant juggle and does put Dro in an uncomfortable spot. So once again, last stock, game five. All right, this is a good way to get started though. It looks like Dro is on the hunt. You have to be careful right now. All these Yoshi hits are so dangerous. Fantastic combo starters in the back here. Keep up the pressure as well. Isaiah not able to find a way on and another wonderful route. Yeah, nice using that meaty up tilt to catch that get up. Did get the combo afterwards. Dro just needs one more solid combo starter, maybe even a call out on an approach, which Isaiah has been happy to do with this Pac-Man. 120% though, Isaiah has to be really careful about getting anywhere near that Yoshi because you got a lot of moves on this character that just kind of kill eventually. Right. And right. that's one of them getting thrown out right there. Yeah, Yoshi thrives in situations oh! like these. So many different ways that you can make it. Make <laughs> <laughs> the Dro fans are yeah, exiting the building. Okay, They're so the excited. <laughs> but Dro won. Come back. It's a, it's a, he's still playing. Hold yeah. on. Oh, here they come. They're excited. Yeah, okay, good. They heard. They heard. Like, oh. They're doing another lap. Shouts to them and shouts to the competitors. A wonderful winner semis match that we were treated with right there. We're going to be moving on a little bit into the Look, bracket, but if the rest of the matches are anything like that, I might need a breather. If we get any more stuff like that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I love Yoshi ended up like on the Pokeball. He was like Pokemon, on, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a Pokemon Stadium. The longest forward air you've ever seen. Still got the spike, but. 
Oh man, I, dude, I'm loving the crowd too. Yes, yeah, yeah. I think I think this crowd for this Ultimate Top Eight thus far has been proving that size in a crowd is not everything. Right, right. It's about passion. Oh, definitely. Right? Definitely. Melee might have packed the house. It finishes up a lot of the people who are here for Melee at the historic full bloom venue, right? This is a historic tournament for Melee. 